What up YouTube, it's the young guy JT And uh, this video is about Triple G and the David Lemieux fight coming up And uh, Triple G having the possibility of single-handedly Bringing down Golden Boy Promotions and putting a final nail in the coffin Okay um, first of all, the fight between Lemieux and uh, Triple G came to a surprise to me because honestly, I mean, when you look at Golden Boy's roster, I mean, who who else do they have? They only have Lemieux and they only have Canelo. Those are pretty much all they have. The rest are, you know, Mauricio Herrera's and no notable names, you know. And Lemieux is going to go into the ring with Triple G in three weeks. And, um, you know, th and that can have actually devastating results, man. You know, uh, there's the possibility that Triple G can single-handedly take down Golden Boy Promotions. Because the winner of the uh, unification bout between Lemieux and Golovkin will be mandatory WBC mandatory for the WBC title at 160 so you know whoever you got your money on in the Cotto Canelo fight you know I got Cotto winning but you know at the end of the day Canelo is the one who's favored you know and that always plays a major key when you got a guy who is favored to win by the majority that plays a part in you know in judging that plays a part in refereeing um, everything that plays a part because everyone's expecting this guy to win Canelo okay you know unless you know unless someone gets knocked out you always have to keep that in the back of your mind okay um, so let's assume if Canelo can beat Cotto you know I think that he's uh, like a lot of these fanboys and delusional fans online, you know, they have a lot of, uh, bravado and, uh, very, very emotionally attached. I feel like Canelo is that type of person as well. And I think that he would be, um, a little bit braver than his own good. I don't think he would want to have his reputation to be severely tarnished by Duck and Golovkin. Um, if he's victorious, of course, um, because there's nowhere to go. I mean, whoever wins this, wins this fight is mandated by the WBC to take, uh, to take on this fight. And, um, you know, I just, I don't see, uh, I don't see that fight ending well for Canelo. I mean, he's stat. He's uh, stationary. You know, he does move his head pretty well, but you know, you can move your head, but you can't move your body. You know, your body is always gonna be right there in front of you. You know, I just see Golovkin really, really taking Canelo out. I actually think Golovkin would have a harder time with Cotto because of his the way he fights in and out and his small stature. You know, and he's not, you know, he's just not as flat-footed as Canelo. Um, you know, I was watching the, I was watching the Lemieux and Dom fight, and, uh, Lemieux's gonna get blasted out, man. I mean, he's just too wild. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna end well, man. I see Lemieux probably having one good round and one good chance to get, do some damage on Golovkin, man, because... The guy swings and misses by, I mean, you know, most people miss by inches. This guy missed by foot, you know. This guy will miss a punch by uh, a couple feet, you know. And, you know, after he punches, his head stays, you know, his head stays in the center. So, we could be looking at a potential highlight reel knockout here, man. You know, I see... Golovkin putting Lemieux on, on a, adding him to a highlight reel, man. I mean, it's gonna be a brutal knockout. 
you know. Um, I think Canelo could probably put up a better fight, but I also see him getting blasted out of there. And the thing is, man, these guys are so young, man. You know, Lemieux's, what, 26? And Canelo's 25, man. These are brutal knockouts that, you know, that are potentially about to happen, man. And uh, I just don't understand it, man. So, with Lemieux getting blasted out, um, there is a possibility that Canelo blatantly ducks Golovkin, man. I mean, because it just doesn't make any sense, man. I mean, only way is if, you know, if, you know, this fight, you know, and we know the Pactars are now Golovkin fans, man. So this is up to you guys, man. You know, you have to support this fight, man. You guys turn your back on Manny Pacquiao completely. You turn your back on him. And it's not just with this Floyd fight, man. That was just the final nail in your fucking hearts, man. The nail in the coffin. You guys turn your back on Manny Pacquiao fights ago after he got knocked out by Marquez because if you look at the pay-per-view numbers, there's, there's been no support at all for Manny Pacquiao. There's been terrible pay-per-view numbers. But if you guys can come out of your graves, you know, I mean, a lot of you are already jumping on the Triple G bandwagon, you know, making it, you know, just gonna try to ruin a guy's career. I mean, but... If you're going to do that, man, at least just buy pay-per-view, man. Because that's the only way that Canelo and Golden Boy will put him in there with Triple G. There's no other way. Because Canelo's going to be making money regardless. But if this pay-per-view is a success, it's almost a, a, a formality that that fight happened. It's a pretty much for sure thing. So, um... Yeah, man, so, uh, don't just be all talking, going around here saying all these racist comments and all this crazy ass shit, man. Don't be like pac -tar. I mean, you guys are pac -tars, but don't ruin a guy's career. If you're gonna talk that dumb shit, man, then at least buy pay-per-view or, you know, show up to the fight. It's your boy JT, I'm out.